I am going to explain about change status of an IDOC. Hope this will be helpful. Change the status of an IDOC in SAP. This article provides the step-by-step -step procedure to change the status of an IDOC in SAP using program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status. An IDOC can have various status depending on whether it is an inbound or an outbound IDOC. The partial listing of the various status an IDOC can have in SAP are shown in the screenshot below. Partial listing of various IDOC status. Business scenario slash requirement. Let us now take a look at an actual business scenario that would require us to change the status of an IDOC in SAP manually. The status of an IDOC changes automatically during the various stages of its processing. However, as mentioned above, at times there may be a requirement to manually change the status of the IDOC in SAP to a particular value. As an example, let us consider the following scenario where it would be advisable to change the status of an IDOC in SAP from 51, application document not posted, to 68, error, no further processing. Assume that we received an inbound IDOC from a vendor which was going to post an invoice i.e. a financial document in our SAP system. This invoice would then be picked up by the automatic payment program, T-code, F110, run for payment processing. The IDOC had some invalid data in one of its data segments due to which it went into error. Status 51. The same was informed to the vendor who had initially sent the IDOC to our SAP system. We could have manually corrected the data segment of the IDOC which had the error data and subsequently reprocessed the IDOC. The reprocessed IDOC would result in the posting of the vendor invoice in our SAP system. But let us assume in our case, the above approach of correcting the IDOC manually is not followed. Rather, the vendor agrees to send a fresh IDOC again with the correct data. In the above scenario, the vendor has agreed to send a fresh IDOC. So, the original IDOC is no longer required to be corrected and processed. In such a case, we would want to make sure that the original IDOC which went into error is moved into status 68, error, no further processing. This would ensure that the original IDOC is never manually corrected and processed to post the invoice. If the same were allowed, then duplicate postings can happen, i.e. we would have two invoices posted for the same item. During the automatic payment run for making vendor payments, both these invoices would be picked up for processing. This would result in double payments being made to the vendor once the IDOCs are processed. This objective to change the status of an IDOC in SAP manually can be achieved using program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status. Now, let us take a look at the detailed step-by-step -step procedure to change the status of an IDOC in SAP using program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status. Step-by-step -step procedure. Step 1. Identify the IDOC number for which the status needs to be changed. Multiple IDOCs or a range of IDOCs can also be selected. In our example, we will change the status of a single IDOC. Step 2. Identify the current status of the IDOC. The current status of an IDOC can be viewed using T code W02. The current status of the IDOC shown in the screenshot below is 51, application document not posted. This is an error status for inbound IDOCs. IDOC in error status 51. Step 3. Identify the new status to be applied to the IDOC as mentioned in the business. Scenario earlier, in our case, we will be updating the status of the above IDOC to 68. Step 4. Go to T code SE38 in SAP. Enter the program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status as shown in the screenshot below. As mentioned before, the program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status can be used to change the status of one or more IDOCs to a desired valid value. T code SE38, execute program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status. 
Step 5. Enter the IDOC number for which the status needs to be changed on the selection. Screen of program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status. Enter the current status and the new status too. Be applied to the IDOC. SE38, program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status selection screen. Step 6, multiple IDOCs can be entered by using the multiple selection button shown below on the selection screen of program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status. The new status will be applied to all the IDOCs selected using multiple selection. Multiple input selection screen for IDOC number. Step 7. Make sure the test checkbox is selected on the selection screen of program. RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status. This will ensure that the program is first executed in test mode. This will not change the status of the IDOC, but will show any error that were to appear if the program was executed. Step 8. The output of the test run of program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status is shown below. It shows that the IDOC status is changed successfully. This implies that there are no errors and we can proceed with the production run to actually change the status of the IDOC. Test run success message. Step 9. Now execute the program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status again with the same parameters. As above, but with the test checkbox unselected. This is called the production run of the Program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status since we are not running the program in test mode anymore. Production run, test checkbox unchecked. Step 10, the success message showing that the IDOC status has been changed is displayed for the production run. Success message displayed. Step 11, go to T code we 2 to confirm that the IDOC status has now been changed to the new value. It can be seen in the screenshot below that the new status value is 68. T code we 2 IDOC status updated to 68. Summary of learnings. The above article explained in detail the business scenario and the step-by-step -step procedure to manually change the status of an IDOC in SAP. The following points were covered. How to change the status of an IDOC manually in SAP. Use of program RC1 underscore IDOC underscore set underscore status in SAP. How to modify the status of multiple IDOCs all at once. A real-world business scenario which initiated a requirement to manually change the status of an IDOC in SAP. How to basis troubleshoot IDOCs error status 51 and status 68 steps. 1. From basis point of view, the technical problem that we have to look at is the transmission of the IDOC. 2. Firstly we execute BD87. 3. Enter IDOC status 51 and press enter. You shall see below screenshot. As we can see, error status 51 are application or data related error. 4. For status 68 error, we do the same thing. Use BD87 Enter 68 on IDOC status. 5. As there is no error message. We double click without error message to see the IDOC details. 6. Go to status record to see what has happened with the IDOC process. As seen in the picture, the error 68 was because the IDOC had status 51, which is caused by application slash data error. 7. Look at transaction SM58 for any hanging or error TRFC, most of IDOC use TRFC slash asynchronous. If any check the error message. 8. If the partner type is LS, which is logical system, you can check and test connection of RFC connection via SM59. 9. In this case, there is no error TRFC on SM59 which proves those error are not basis issue. Thank you.